It is a good day to watch College Valorant Grand Finals for the East Region, the Civil War. Fisher Falcons versus Fisher Navy. What better map to start it all off on than the map of Ascent? Of course, with Ascent, we pretty much know what we're going to be seeing out of the Agent Select. This is going to be the choice of the Fisher Falcons. So, an obvious moment where they're going to be feeling pretty confident about themselves. I do want to go over the maps real quick of what we are not going to be seeing. because It's probably going to be easier to talk about it that way. Icebox and Lotus are out of here. We start off with Ascent, Sunset, Split. And if we need to, for maps 4 and 5, Breeze and Bind. Yes, you heard that right. Map 4 and 5. This is a best of 5 Grand Finals. Of course, for Grand Finals, do come the scholarship prize money. And also comes the bragging right between the two Fisher teams. The interesting thing to note as well, both of these teams had to have beaten Winthrop University to get here. Fisher Navy beat Winthrop in the upper semifinals, finishing them into the lower, where Fisher Falcons had a rematch against them since round one all the way long time ago. And a 3-1 spectacular that saw the Fisher Falcons triumph and complete their lower finals run. And so now they get to stand tall and try to take down Fisher Navy, the team that 3 0 would Winthrop University. And it all starts off on the map of attack. We're going to be seeing Fisher Navy on the defense. We're going to be seeing Fisher Falcons on the attack. And for Ascent, a relatively difficult map to start off on the attack. Mostly seeing B site pretty much being covered at pretty usual angles. KJ has set up an alarm bot through mid, making sure that if anyone does come in that direction, they will know. But a five stack all players up through B. How well this is going to work for them? <laughs> well, we're going to see. As the grand finals have now begun. Fisher College Falcons versus Fisher College Navy. Zorona's going to get rid of the sentry turn. Blinded flashbang. Both players, though, on the flip side out of here. Pretty decent one. Zorona up in the air. Four HP. Yanel is going to get the first blood of the entire series. But four Navy. Vix is going to stay size the box and still inside a boathouse. Cork is not being taken away. Vix got the double kill. Now corralling on the side the 2v2. Spike down. Blast is gonna fall with the spike itself. And Anders had a roaring day yesterday, but cannot convert it at the very least on this first pistol round. Going here to Fisher College Navy. Round number one in favor of Fisher Navy. Oh, what a devious little knife. Tuzi denied the smokes just for now, and a brilliant headshot from Zorona is going to start things off perfectly. Not wanting to deal with the amount of pressure in front of them. Going to try and go for the rotate. Breaking off from the rest of the team, though, is going to be Tim hanging back. They even weasel up through mid, decided not to. Now in through their own spawn and try to take the fight on B. An actual pretty good opportunity as well with Horik being the only one there. And no one is going to see this rotation in through their spawn. The noise has been cut. The action is about to break out, but Horik is set up with the Ares on the opposite end. Quick, they go. First flashbang. A smoke is going to cut it off. From CT, Floric's going to spam through it. The Falcons are on the site itself. Blast is going to plant. 
spike planted. They meant near to no resistance. The team has to come back in this way. Vix on that lurk is going to be found out by the turret. They need to get rid of it. Insane maneuvering from Neptune. Yanel really wanted to fire after them. They really wanted to get after them. And things are starting to peel off here for the Falcons. Vix completely and totally blinded and slowed down by the KO. Molly. But it's all Nanners, all alone, with a classic and 60 HP, all over the place. They heard the footsteps coming from behind them, but didn't hear Vix being the actual one to assassinate them. Pretty simple here for Navy. Obviously going into their buy round with the weapons that they did have. But now we get to see how the Falcons are going to respond in kind and deny the bonus from Navy. Full push through mid. Oh my goodness. The third round operator from paint is really bringing them a lot of mileage here. Nanners claims one with the Odin before paint claims their second. Denies that push. And it's looking like Navy firmly working their way towards gaining ground on One this bonus round. Toosie doesn't need any fancy spawn. weapons. All they need is a sheriff and a headshot. Tim looking at every single angle they possibly can. They're managing to gain a lot of ground out of this and their possible best chance of actually getting something here. But they need to stand toe to toe with paint. Just enough of Tim right through the wall. And that is Fisher Navy getting the bonus round, getting paint three kills on the board and continuing to put Fisher Falcons in their place. Need a drop. Ooh, right through the wall, Clark. Gets their target, knows that Zorona has gotten onto science. How much further can they go when Clark has just chewed through your whole team, even just trying to get onto this B site? Zorona is still there. But what more can you gain out of this? Clark now has four. A flawlessly done round. Clark with a 4K on top of that. And only. 14 HP, four rounds in a row here for Fisher Navy. Set up here, Chloric. Again, they're trying to run away with the same strategy. Not quite as successful this time. Fisher Falcons making sure that they were ready for this. The best chance possible opportunity. Take the fight on B. 2Z seen, but 2Z still stands. And that's really all that matters for this player. Both of the spokes expended. Really making sure that no one's going to come on the other side. Clorik was feeling a little dicey, wanted to see if they could take one down, but instead a taste of their own medicine has gotten them taken out of the equation. It should make things even easier for the Falcons. But look at all of the KJ utilities set up here inside of Tree. One of the Swarm Grenades goes off. Yanel is going to tank some of that damage and just walk right on by. But guess who's there with the Operator? One, now eyes towards main. They need to be careful. Flashbang. Paranoia. Paints down to the ground below. 
and is still claiming more victims to go along with it. The Falcons have finally gotten rid of the demon inside of hell. And popping off the KO ultimate. Fusey has that, gets rid of the alarm bop, the swarm grenade for Neptune. He's just firing through the floorboards. But it's Neptune all by themselves, all alone. Quick flashbang over the top. Nanner set up just perfectly to capitalize on a pick and bring Fisher Falcons their first round one. And one that they were desperately looking for. And even more so, you're going to give Zorona the operator that was in the hands of Paint. And now we're going to get the Jet v. Jet duel. Fisher Falcons adapting their strategy just a little bit here. Paint denied vision from the operator. One shot rings out into the void. Zorona. Oh, they know that Paint wants to do this. They know they do. And that's why they're there. That's why they were waiting. And that's why they are going to walk away with a victory over Paint. How much more mileage can you get out of the attack operator? How much more suffering can you inflict? The numbers are on your side, but... Every single chance... Now using the knives! Oh, Toozy! Inside a tree, the Hunter's Fury! Doesn't look like it's going to be able to get them... Very much, if anything, out of that at all. Is grabbing the old orb. So close. Here's the lockdown. 30 seconds and left. See if anyone's gonna go there. 30 seconds left on the clock. Pull it back away. Lord sees the swarm grenade at the feet. Small spam through on the other side of that with the Odin. The Fisher Navy is struggling to contain the Falcons from actually getting onto the site, but 10 seconds left to spare. Spike is planted, now up to Navy. Go for the defuse. Set in a relatively decent position to make it happen, but Chloric has no HP. It's gonna be a dangerous affair for them to get onto this site, especially with that Odin. The Sono Dart sees 2Z, sees Chloric. Now we're gonna see the countering lockdown expended on the actual site itself. 2Z is there, blind, but they, saw, they couldn't have seen the bell. But they do hear the noise. Nanners on the other side, 2Z gets the headshot. Now it's all into Boathouse. One corner cleared, and they know that they're going to have to be here. Tuzi, 36 oh, HP. Remaining. Just enough, but the rest of the team comes up, saves the day. They don't have the time here. The Fisher Falcons, even though none survive, wins the round. Placing a lamb bot. We're seeing something different out of Fisher Navy. Wanting to go in there! And you've gotten rid of Zorona, who had the opportunity to set up with the Operator. Not an easy task. Not by a long shot. Well, they walk away with a massive victory on their side. And now Blast is going to have to be the one to pick up the pieces with that Operator. And Falcons are going to have to be the ones to decide what needs to be done here. Through mid, Vix hearing all of the noises, seeing all of the possibilities. I can open my word through the smoke! Vix on a 4K rampage! Blast is just gonna back off! <laughs> they don't care about the operator anymore. Get rid of that. Make sure it doesn't go in their hands. Vix is so close to the east! Denied by Blast! 
But Fisher Navy not denied their fifth round. That is the second 4K that we've gotten out of Ascent from Fisher Navy alone. They're gonna do it again. A paranoia going towards this A long. And we haven't seen Fisher Falcons make their way through mid in quite some time. It's it's been a long going for this, but again, they don't need to sacrifice a body here because KJ has the alarm bot set up right here. Vix heard it as the alarm bells right there ringing away. And the defender. One side, pinched in, doesn't matter where you go. Tim is gonna get run down by paint. It's still something that you're getting out of an exit frag, but nowhere near enough to turn the tide in the favor of the Falcons. Navy running away with the game so far and have secured the first half for themselves, but has so much more to gain and so many more rounds to go. Fisher Falcons calling a timeout. Timeout ended now for the Fisher Falcons. This game's starting to run out of their hands. Fisher Navy gaining six rounds over the Falcons. Tim backed away from the knife just in time. And now trying to toy with the emotions of Navy out of a quick omen TP. Slowed down here, thinking they're on the other side. They at least drew out. The KO Molly, but how far Susie's pushed up? Oh, they're so ready for it. They wanted it. This ultimate is tearing Falcons One apart piece by piece. And it's just going to be easy as that for Fisher Navy. Locking down the Falcons inside of a main. Not going to give them any approach. Not going to give them any recourse. Vix has 12 kills. Chloric has 11. Standing ahead. The Fisher Navy team is having the absolute time of their life. That Standing much ahead. can absolutely be said. And already the Fisher Falcons are bleeding. Blast holding on by a 5 HP threat of health. And Zerona completely blind. He couldn't even see paint. Destroying Blast with an Operator shot. And honestly, kind of overkill here, Pain. He only had 5 HP. All he needed to do was sneeze on them. Quick blind there. What was Zerona going to do? Neptune flicked in one direction, out of the other. This feels methodical. This feels clinical out of Fisher Navy. The Falcons have no... It feels like almost no way to deal with them. Nanners was off in a completely different direction, thinking they could have come through tiles. Yindel is the only thing left standing for the Falcons. And now, 
a lockdown is going to push them away. Thankfully, there's enough room for them. They do hit the headshot on a Neptune, but this is going to be the Phantom Diff chat. And those are the kind of moments that haunt any player's dream. Neptune regains the Operator, of course, for none other than Paint themselves. And that is going to be Fisher Navy. Four rounds in a row, eight rounds won. And it's looking like this half is going to be dominated by them. But the Falcons get to work with some weapons. The Falcons get to have some firepower. And the Falcons need to breathe life into this team. Clear to engage. Weapons hot. Knife deployed. Oh, manners. You've got to know how far Tuzi has pushed up. You can't play this carefully. You can't play this with reckless abandon. You cannot have that. You have to be hearing everything there. The Aldron is gone, but they know Nanners is on the other side of this. Tuzi could go for it. Floric! Unbelievable the way that they're standing. Kind of jaw-dropping to go along with it. You put down the alarm bot. And now we're going to see the Hunter's Fury. Oh, up in the air. It tries so desperately, but this is what I was talking about that the Falcons were looking for. They're gaining this momentum here in the round, but they need to secure the momentum. Vix caught out by the recon dart, seeking sanctum inside of tree. The rest of the team is going to regroup with each other. Yeah, and and Nanners has heard Tuzi drop down onto the ground below. The swarm grenade is still going to go off, just far enough left. away, and not going to be caught inside of the KO ultimate. Tuzi has to play for as much of their life as they possibly can. They're still in Boathouse, and they can still duel if they need to. They're not going to win there. Paint claims one with the operator once more, but it's just not going to be good enough for them to get out alone and in a massive 1v2 with a spike planted. Yanel has no HP and Vix has this Odin. Whether or not the god is going to ascend to the heavens above, Yanel swings out just far enough and the bullets sandwich right in between the final two players of the Falcons. The they got another round for themselves and one that they so desperately needed. But this is not going to impact Fisher Navy in any way whatsoever. They're just going to do the same thing that they've been doing what feels like this entire half. Claw through them. Cover going out. First of the one ways is there. One on one side. We're seeing an approach onto tiles. Nanners. Far too eager. Here. If Paint is going to take that angle, you know Paint is going to get something. And Tuzi hiding up in the corner gets away. Scott free. No trades happening. But Yanel! They walk through just on a main. Claims the double kill inside of Tree. And the remaining remnants of Fisher Navy. Has to jump over and get onto the site. Defuse the spike. Spray from Chloric. If anyone might be there. Zero point knife knows that they're in heaven. Break the break the glass. I'm a little scared too, because paint has got that knife. Ooh, Chloric scene. And paint's not able to connect the shots. A Yanel 4K. Third 4K, by the way. We need to get the 4K counter. Switching sides. This is not a bad first half, though, for the Falcons. A reminder that Ascent is a defensive-sided map. It's, it's, a, it's a difficult map if you're the attacker to actually try to get in and try to execute onto the site. So an eight and four half is nothing to sneeze at, especially with how many rounds Navy were able to string in a row. And whether or not it was overconfidence that became their downfall, at the very least, here for Fisher Falcons, they managed to cobble something together. 
Though I am scared about what's gonna happen on B main. It's a, it's gonna be a looks like a three v four. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The Falcons are just full speed ahead. Clark doesn't get caught by the knife. But they're all up in there. They are firing on all Five cylinders. And it's already a bloodbath. It's back and forth. No way. The Zorona landed that with a pistol with a sheriff and just completely decimated them. Neptune left without the whole stinking team. Thinking they may have caught someone on the lurk. They could grab manners here. They do get them. They have lost over half of their HP. 56 HP. And the Falcons are saying, go to the spike. Play the spike. And there's the smoke from Tim. Neptune can't see anything on the other side of this. And they've set themselves up in the perfect position. The flashbang's gonna go out. Pop flash! Unreal headshot! Jump! Two clutches it! You can't open or do that. The Falcons had it all in their hands! For that pistol round! But Neptune in a 1v3! A 1v3! Somehow Fisher Navy came out of that one alive. I don't know how Neptune did that. The pop flash had to have been precise enough to these waging a one-man war by themselves. Finally being brought to heal, but not before they walk away with two. And the spike is gonna be planted. Meanwhile, you're you wouldn't be I wouldn't blame you if you thought the Fisher Falcons were the ones who were actually on the attack. The spike is on B. The Falcons are going to go in through their spawn. Sorry, in through A to their spawn. Where Cloric is just going back and forth. Sees Nanners. Now they know. They're going to do it again. They've seen even more of the Falcons. Now everyone knows exactly where they are. Out goes the first one. Paint. Yelling at the top of their lungs. Break that turret. Break that turret. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swerve in. And we're just going to... We're going to send them into the next century with that strike. Fisher Navy now in the double digits. Fisher Falcons having a tough time on their defense so far, but it's only been two rounds in the second half. Fisher Navy took the previous half's bonus round. They're going much more cautiously about it this time. Falcons spread out all over the map. The alarm bot in mid. You're gonna see that. Here. Should be hearing it right now. They know Here. it's there. Sees it. Sets themselves up for it. Ping on top Here. of it. They could smoke it. No, instead they're just going to smoke through CT. We do have someone seen a shock dart, but it's all just about overwhelming force. Get on there as quick as possible. The Fisher Falcons. B-side defense collapsing in on itself. There's still some damage that's been done, but nowhere near enough. Neptune <gasps> looked away. I don't believe it. The timing differential on that. Nothing short of insane. Put it away though, Spike. Getting more and more and more. Time running lower and lower. Tuzi doesn't even care at this point. They could just jiggle peek Tim to their heart's content. Or they could just go for the fight, win it. Get Fish and Navy. Not only the bonus round, but one more round away from closing out map one.
shots being fired all across Ascent. Seeing wherever their targets may be lying. Fisher Navy can make mistakes. They have so many benefits in their favor. And we can't even begin to talk about. <laughs> and the Falcons don't want to take any aggressive peaks. They don't want to take any aggressive fights if they don't need to. Because why should you? Why would you? You know what's on the line here. You know how dangerous things are going to be? A pop flash in mid, but no one to give them any pause. Now the Fisher Falcons becoming a victim Perhaps maybe their own impatience, trying to figure out where this team is, trying to catch them off on the back foot, but they are not being fooled. Oh, this is, this is what they were waiting for. In comes the first one, swinging a market. Nanners is going to pick up the one onto Neptune. Navy's going to back away from that. You're seeing paint back over to the rest of the team. Chris Paranoia goes in, Tim blinded by that. Berzerona's going to claim another one in favor of the Falcons. Oh, and this is what we needed to see from the Falcons. And this is exactly what we're going to be getting from them. A flawless nice, round. Nice, but not nice enough to die in. Gun here. Stopping the momentum of Fisher Navy, maybe for just a moment. But hopefully these moments can start to transfer and become legacies for the Fisher Falcons. There. There. All right, Fisher Navy first suffering their first loss in the second half. Fisher Falcons finally able to get something out of there, and it came off of their patience. Tim's still in hell, though. There's so many opportunities and chances for them to be blinded and for their own life to be claimed by Paint, who got a double kill. The Maestro Extraordinaire, this duelist savant, it feels like sometimes. You've seen the Fisher Navy squad a lot in the tier 2 circuit, sometimes under different names. It doesn't matter under what name they're operating under. They are efficient. They are death incarnate itself. So you now spray and pray in hell? I'm not going to give that up. Oh, wait for the wraparound. Wait for the wraparound from Vix. They may not need it. Paint. Another 4K and a flawless round from Fisher Navy. With him screaming at the top of the year lungs, if they can do it, so can we. Match point for Fisher Navy. Fisher Navy, one more round to go, and map number one is going to be there in the College Valorant Winter East Grand Finals out of this best of five. Navy's just, they're going to, they're going to take their time, slowly but surely, waiting for the right opportunities here. Here it is. Ultimate goes off. Paint has the knives. Here's the Hunter's Fury. Blinded. This one, though, is going to be from Cork. Oh, and it's back and forth. There you have it. Numbers advantage given over to Fisher Navy. Blast may be suppressed. Here comes the first one. Vic sees their opportunity in heaven. Takes full advantage of it. And just through the thinnest of the margins... Up that doorway, Fisher Navy claims their final victim. 13 to 5, here on map number one of Ascent.
It is now time for map number two. Fisher Navy taking map one, the map choice of the Falcons in a dominating fashion. But now we look towards another opportunity here for the Falcons. But I will say this was the one map that Fisher Falcons lost against Winthrop yesterday. It was 13 to three against that team. So this is not going to be an easy time for them. And hopefully some of the lessons that they were able to take away from their matchup against Winthrop is going to translate over into here. Don't want to have another tragedy on their hands. They don't want to drop Sunset in this way. And taking a look at the agent select, Navy already more than confident on what they want to pick for this. Going on the double initiator setup of the Breach and the Fade with Cypher, Omen, and it's looking like paint on the Rays. The double initiator, especially for Navy starting off on attack, is going to be deadly, to say the least. You have multiple angles to clear things out using your fault line. There's aftershock as well to clear out the spicier places that someone may be hiding. But not only that, you have the rolling thunder. And that goes in combination with the nightfall. Two ultimates that covers both of the sites, basically. And whoever's hiding out on top of them going to make things very difficult for the Fisher Falcon team, who's also going with the double initiator setup, but instead switching out Gecko for the Breach. Sorry, switching out Breach for the Gecko, and the Fade for the KO. Everything else, though, similar across the board is going to be pretty much the same. You need a Cypher on this map. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Cypher is a vital agent not only for the defense and how he locks down the site but also a vital agent for how he protects you from lurkers sunset is a notoriously difficult map if you don't have a cypher as attack because you can get lurked upon pretty much anywhere so many different pathways to get behind your enemy and that's also what we're going to be seeing a lot of Emphasis being put on this mid control, being able to have this and not giving it up, so very important. But it is map number two here, the College Valorant Winter Grand Finals for the East Region. Fisher Falcons versus Fisher Navy. Fisher Navy up one on the attack, going in beautiful execution here from the Falcons. But Paint also has execution on their side as well. The Falcons always have. The upper hand, it feels like, but then it gets ripped away from them in a moment's notice. And who better to defend right there than Toozy? Tim. Oh, they looked away. They got the shot off on the shoulder, but there was nowhere near enough HP for them to weather the storm named Vix. That was a close pistol round. Having to end in a 1v1 of all things. Once again, it is Fisher Navy pulling ahead. This goes here. Fisher Navy defaulting, and Vix even being more bold. Plus, gonna take a quick look at Yanel over there on the ground. Toozy's not giving up this spot. Why should they? They're even out of the range of the knife. They have one bullet. They can pick up the spike. Wait to see if someone tries to peek inside of there and then go for the reload. They've already done their damage. They've already done more than enough right there. And even though Blast survives, Neptune's gonna pick up the final little pieces of that and uh, toss it all in the bin. Fisher Navy. Second round, theirs. But, this is now the bonus round. Fisher Falcons, rifles in hand. It's kind of scary though. If you look at Fisher Navy. 3-3, three, 2-2, three, two, two, zero. Oh, this is a nice spot. Fisher Navy has only one thing on their mind. 
winning the grand finals. 3-0. Oh, blinded right there. Tim on the other side of this aggression, taking space, going as far as they possibly can. There's no way that they can get out of there. Unless by using their own utility or using that smoke to get towards that safety. There's still a trade for a trade though. That's over on the other side. Tuesday, perfect movement. Gets the trade off. And it's still back and forth. And Fisher Navy with the weapons that they're operating with. Finding massive success off of the back of this. You have Nanners right next to Generator. Has to be hearing all of the footsteps surrounding them. Get rid of that right there. Yep. Well done. Cloric is inside of the cage. cage wait for that to go down. This is going to give the opportunity for the team to reconvene upon each other. But I want to direct your attention to the flank to the lurk. Oh. Could they actually be going all the way around? The trip is going to catch Fisher Falcons on the rotate. And Nanners has fallen, which means a site is now gone. Clark's going to use the generator to protect themselves and picking that up. It is Fisher Navy on fire. Bonus round once again claimed by this team. This goes here. Yes, this will go. That goes there. Uh, Fisher Navy continuing to run away with this, really. Cage trigger. It's not much that we the best possible opportunity that the Falcons had was in that previous round and they were doing so much taking space getting aggressive abusing the weapons that they were using they lost far too many fights and not only that but they gave up the weapons to Navy and if you give the if you give the Fisher Navy the weapons the firepower there's not much you can do here. And Navy loves doing this. They love giving the Falcons pause to think about anything that's happening here. Oh my gosh. Zorona's jump peak just saw almost the entirety of Fisher Navy right there. And it's time to run for the hills to safety. Regroup and make your stand on this site because the tidal wave, the Navy tidal wave, is about to descend upon you. Zorona has the skills. Blast is gonna do the same exact thing. These sheriffs are getting the headshots, dealing the damage, getting the blood that they need. The smoke goes away and Neptune is just right there. Zorona has a weapon. Tuzi and a 1v1. Fighting it off against Blast. Wait a minute. There's no way that they go TP all the way over to the other side, set themselves up for main, and just abuse poor Blast. And I think what's even more detrimental for Blast is that they're still working with the Sheriff. They didn't pick up a weapon from the remnants of whatever happened on A. They were more eager to try and catch them off guard or try to catch them in a different moment. Here's the thing though, Tuzi is safe. So even if, oh, Tuzi heard it. Tuzi heard it. They heard everything. They wait for the defuse. They just need to abuse them. They don't even need to fight them. Blast has no choice now but to go for the defuse. Easy as pie for Tuzi. Tuzi, oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm keeling over right now. I said a lot of boat terms today. Tuzi is seven and one. We're only on round number. Four completed. Round number five right now. 
Patuzzi has seven kills. Almost double the amount of rounds that we're in right now. And a very distinct possibility that that stat line can continue to increase. There. Fisher Navy is all, all up in the business of mid. And it's back and forth for the Falcons who can't do anything right now to be able to contest it. Vix is right there, exactly. dueling out against them. Oh, but just a little bit of their back. Enough of that was seen. How does Zorona miss with the showstopper right at the feet of Fisher Navy? Thankfully, they pulled out their weapon just in time to claim the life of paint, but really, none of it will go much further than that. Tuzi's pushed so far up in here. So far and away. No ultimate to bail them out this time. And Neptune? Gonna be protected by the smoke just in time, too. Anders was there. But Tuzi has fallen. Anders has to. Oh, yeah, Nanners heard it. Oh, and it was so close. Time is starting to run against Clark. Oh, another 1v1 to determine it all. Wingman did go out, but we're starting to have a time differential here. Kate cage triggered. Clark trying to put up a haunt. Nanners just swings in, seeing this is seeing this as their best opportunity. And what an opportunity it was. Fisher Falcons claiming their first round on sunset. But again, it's the same issue that we keep running into. The Falcons need to continue trying to garner as much of this as they possibly can. They win one, and then Fisher Navy wins the next five. Beautiful knife. There. Gained a lot of information off of the back of that. Paint's gonna hang out inside of the smoke. In comes the first haunt, clearing out close corners. Tigono's on the other side of that. Last has the flashbang ready. Quick pop on the other side is Clark, who weaseled their way all through there. Sorry, Paint, rather. Clark was on the other side, just on stairs. And still gets a double kill. And now Nanners has to curiously wonder, what the heck just happened to my team? Where did they go? Paint had no HP, but dealt... More than enough to Nanners. It's a 2v1. And Clor is going to back all the way up. Prowler at hand. Prowler at the ready. Maybe even the haunt. Could even go for a tether. So many different options in the toolkit of this spade. And that's what makes them devious. First Prowler. Second Prowler. Going to chomp them down. Clor misses the first shot. Side steps. Ain't missing the second headshot. Fisher Navy. Small hiccups always for this team. We see another timeout for the Fisher Falcons. First one of Sunset. Another timeout done. For Fish Falcons. And hopefully one that's going to give them something, anything really at this point. A very important round that they needed to discuss too. The economy not in good shape whatsoever. We're just seeing sheriffs across the board. Now this team is pretty scary. To be fair, when you give them a sheriff. It's just... Fisher Navy's also scary in pretty much any circumstance. 
And so we're gonna have to see which one is more terrifying. I do not. I do not want to be Tim on the other side of that. They jump peek and then everyone just runs them down. But I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna continue that going forward. Zorona was hit with a tether. In goes, oh, the paint. Ooh, ooh. Paint on the other side of this. Zorona, the perfect play there from them. The Nightfall is gonna deny their hearing. Gonna even start taking away their health. Decay down. It's Wingman. Looking like they're getting chomped by the Prowler, but Yanel's alone. Oh, a clean headshot. But it's a clean headshot from a classic, unfortunately. Fisher Navy. An unbeatable team. The literal definition of perfection out of the East region. Nothing stopped them. No team could stop them. Not even Winthrop University. And this right here is a very, very stark reminder of why. Once more we go, Fisher Navy. There are no breaks on this train from them. Why would there be? Why should there be? Oh, that is disgusting. The perfect crossfire setup from Yanel and Blast. But you still have two players left for Navy. And it's none other than Cloric. And it's none other than Tuzi. They see over on the other side, seeking safe harbor on the generator. Cloric's by themselves. And the dynamic duo could not withstand the numbers from Fisher Falcons. Great recognition from this team. Pull back and play for the over-eagerness from Fisher Navy. Their over-aggression. You, you want to take these fights in our space, that's what the Falcons were looking for. And worked out brilliantly for them. The retake done immaculately. And a much better showing what we're getting out of Fisher Falcons than what we saw from them yesterday against Winthrop University. Couple of shots in mid. I haven't seen anyone go inside of market. Oh, <sighs> Nanners had their drop down. Paint has one HP, one. HP. They survived that by the skin of their teeth. All you have to do is sneeze on them. An atom hits them in the wrong way, and they are dead. Zorona going inside of the smoke just far enough. They have to realize that someone's going to walk through this. There's not enough of a gap here. Inside that goes over on the other side. Zorona! Through the smoke! Catches Neptune on the back foot. And he's still reminder that paint only has one HP. And so their duelist is just going to be ripped apart. Zorona's just going to hit headshots. It doesn't matter at this point. But again, even though... Fisher Falcons find these advantages. Fisher Navy are so brilliant at how they recover and plug the holes up in a sinking ship. Lord sees Tim. Their reign of terror finally brought to an end. But it's Toozy versus Tim. Oh my goodness. And Toozy plays the timing game. Giving us a masterclass on peaking and sometimes a master class on what feels like luck at some moments but for Tuzi, i'm not gonna say luck no way at all it was calculated it was decisive but most importantly it was disgusting fisher navy seven on the board Oh, 
How much of this roll is gonna be slowed down? Someone caught inside of a cipher trip. Zorona can't go any further than that. Fisher Navy back on A. This time, Spike gonna be planted. Right They're peeking all over the place. Right there. I set up in the perfect spot for Fisher Navy and the angles that they do have. Glass is blinded. And really, uh, the Falcons are working with classics. Some of them do have rifles, but it's not much more than that. It's still somehow going back and forth. And hey, put respect to the classic, by the way. Blast one enemy remaining. gets their one, gets their kill. But they can't do much more than that. I want to bring this all back for a second here because I was singing the praises of Tuzi at the beginning of this match. Clorg now has 16. Clorg has 16 kills. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. This goes here. Fish and Navy, this half. Definitely theirs. Right there. And the best the Fisher Falcons can hope for is an eight and four first half, like they like what they got out of Ascent. And again, against Winthrop yesterday. Oh, they're just they're just gonna go against Nanners like that. There's no smokes. There's nothing to stop them. There's no cipher utility. There's no trips. There's no cams. There's no cages. Nanners has no money to do anything here. They are. I know exactly where. Certify on the other side. The Boombot didn't get them. The Prowler did. And Nanner's gonna get theirs onto paint. Now we're looking inside of Market. It's still back and forth. Nanner is a double kill now. Vix is holding down the site as best they can. But again, it's them alone on the site. They need to back up towards the safety with Tuzi. Just shoot through the smoke, but it's gonna be Wingman the one to defuse it. You run them down. Don't give them any chance to think here. Fisher Falcons pulling through on a thrifty. Last round in the half. This is working out much better. For Fisher Falcons, we've been seeing them a lot more just playing off of sight. The second that they gather information, they just go on there. And I think because they're, the Falcons are realizing that if they do, if they give the site over to Navy, they're not going to rotate off of it. Instead, they're going to plant the spike. And Fisher Falcons, they just need to play together and they just need to wait patiently. Oh my, oh my gosh. Zorona. Give it up for them! Pull it away, pull it back! Pull your breath as well. Spike Neptune, far too many mid. targets for them to deal with. Three in mid. And what's even worse for Fisher Navy? A spike there as well? And not only that... They gotta... They gotta actually plant the dang thing! This! Is a statement from Fisher Falcons again. Switching sides. An eight and four first half for them. Did mix it up? Double down. Improving already off of their score line from yesterday, and giving Fisher Navy something to think about going into their defense. Side swap now. Fisher Navy on the defense. Fisher Falcons. Give me their attack. Please, please, you're firing through the box. How did you know paint? Blind literally as can be. Could not see a single dang thing. 
And now has a triple kill. Make that a quad. Blink and you will miss it. Second pistol round of this map going to Fisher Navy. Second pistol round in general going to Fisher Navy. After the dominance from Fish and Navy in that previous round, really, what more can we expect out of them? It's Vix. Oh, there's the one way. They want to go for the quick attack. See if maybe he's gonna, someone's going to be crazy enough to try and push that. Kind of like how Zorona was crazy enough to push Tuzi. One paranoia there. Blast is still... I, okay, these classics are putting in some work. Tuzi gets over to safety in time. Dizzy's gonna blind them. They gotta go in quick. Get over to the info box just at the right moment. It's still back and forth. I, I'm, I'm believing in classic superiority. This classic, this one tiny little default missile is putting in miles. But you have a big danger in mid. You have Chloric. Who... I would, I would dare to say, a demon. Thirty seconds left. Put it in, put it down. Wingman. Spike being used. No way. Nanners gets their headshot. Chloric is gone. Yanel has to do it themselves. No little buddy to plant the spike. Spike planted. Vix caught in 4K. Fisher Falcon so close to accomplishing what was almost going to be the impossible. Vix has one HP. Brings out the ghost. And like a demon in the night, swipes away victory. From Fisher Falcons, Navy, now into the double digits. Sorry, chat. I, I'm not saying anything because I'm still recovering. I'm still shocked, to say the least. Vix didn't go to get to go any further. They need to be standing to get full usage out of their utility. Cage brought up again this one way. Gives them the right view. Neptune's out of there. Saved, by the way, by the trip. Zorona diligently clearing everything. Having around into Boba. Vic's picking up a quick drink. Wingman's gonna plant the spike. And they're also gonna try and pick up Thrash. They can get that. You know it was so close. They were so desperate. And Neptune was feeding into that. But the spike is still planted. And this is once again Fisher Falcons. Oh, you got him in Boba. One headshot onto Chloric. They just need to make their way onto the site. Fisher Falcons. Stopping the bonus. Got a little crazy there at the end. They did bring it back around. Fisher, Fal <laughs> Fisher Falcons. Not done yet. Oh, this is a nice spot. Five rounds to tie things up. Eight if they want to get sunset. Best of five series. Gonna give me a heart attack before the day is over, chat. Camera take him out. I gotta be ready for this. This is what I like about the gecko, though. 
You give them the spike. You give them the ult orb. They run away so quickly with their ultimate. The snowball effect that they keep grabbing can really swing things around in the favor of the team of Gecko. Rather this time, though, than using... Banners is all the way through mid! Glory caught completely unawares. Vix, though, gonna download the enemy positions and then put them on Google Maps. Hey, wait a minute. Nanners is right there. Pain hungry for this. Nanners! Shots on the edge. Survives Paint. Not gonna survive Tuzi. Tim, gonna ping down the spike. Still has yet to actually put it down because there's a lot coming after them. Blinded. There's the aftershock. 30 seconds left. Gonna try and find safety on this box where they got wall banged just a little bit. Spike is finally gonna be planted. They want the cash. It's gonna come off of this. It's a 2z 4k. A 2z 4k. A Fisher Navy. 11th round one. Two more to go. Map number two of Sunset will be theirs. We bring it back around. Everything is gonna work out perfectly fine here. Obviously for the Fisher Falcons. They're clearing the market to Z on the info box. Verona goes for the swing, doesn't quite land it there, but on the back foot as Z was blinded, Nandis is gonna grab them. Quick weapon upgrade here. They defend mid, but the shot from Paint still goes off and blows them right up to Kingdom Come. Blast is going to KO ultimate, a 2v3. And Toon knows that Blast is right there, blinded, and forced to find safety and recompense. Vix far too forward. Blast is going to get the headshot. Pull away from this. Blast, hearing the footsteps from Boba. Oric makes their own wide swing. Him is just on the opposite end of this, they tether down to the ground. Neptune delivers the final blow there. And Fisher Navy now. Team Match point. Let's put them in the ground. Victory at Fisher Navy is a doorstep for the map number two of Sunset. And once again, this is their map choice. This is where they decided to go, and this is where they are finding untold amounts of victory, it feels like, at this stage. Nanners, putting up the cage. <laughs> Slowed down a little bit by a fault line stun. That's yeah, nothing. Nothing really to worry about here. I see the haunt being used in mid. Paint. Oh, so far forward. A tether right there. Nanners is not going to be caught by it. Paint. Not going to get caught by Juzi. Two kills. Cloric is going to come back and pick up a third for themselves. And it's time to nightfall. Both Yanel and him. Decayed. Deafened. Won't even hear death at their doorstep. And who is Death? Their name, Loric. Their MO, trying their best to close out this game. But Tim still has some fight in them. Tim cannot give this up. They need to win the 1v2. Defenders win. But Tuzi is going to claim the mantle here. And Fisher Navy is going to claim Sunset. 13 to 5.
One more map to go. And the Fisher Civil War will be completed for one side. As for the other, they are going to need to dig deep into themselves and figure out how to stop themselves. If you are rooting for Fisher, have I got good news for you? Because it looks like Fisher is going to be winning. But I also have bad news if you're a fan of Fisher. Because Fisher is also going to lose. Fisher v. Fisher. The Fisher ex explosion that is going to rock the eastern seaboard. Fisher Navy versus Fisher Falcons. I don't know how we're going to be able to handle this. I don't know how Fisher, the college itself, is going to recover after this weekend. But for what it matters, Fisher Navy is in the lead 2-0. Taking map number one of Ascent, map number two of Sunset. Now on map number three for Split. Fisher Falcons have got to be able to do this. Have got to be able to, to begin the reverse sweep here on map number three. Have to. And I think we also need to talk about some of the crazy stats that came out of Sunset. Especially Chloric. 19 kills. 19. Nine deaths. 277 ACS. Vix following that up at 14. Paint at 18. Sorry, rather, I don't know my math, okay? I'm a solo caster, please. Be kind to me, Chad. I, I don't know how to do math. But still, 19 kills for Chloric, who was playing a Fade, an Initiator. Then you move over to Paint, the Duelist, at 18. The stat lines from Navy are just built different. Final map, the split, the battleground, where it could all end here for Fisher. Fisher needs to pull ahead and find the strength to stand against itself. Otherwise, it all ends against itself. Fisher Navy on the defense. Fisher Falcons attacking. Oh, and they hear it all. I'm gonna turn back around, Zorona. Taking their way all in the sight. Neptune's just on the other end of that smoke. Once a, a couple of shots that Yanel is lucky to be alive from. And enough to scare them out of the corner that they were in. And maybe see just enough somebody's face that they can blow up. Quite possibly. No, instead, just back off. See one of the flashbangs there. Navy taking a little bit of their time to actually get onto the site. Pick for pick trade for a trade. They're looking in a completely different direction, not ready for them there. Oh, and Vix knows. Vix got the Vix got the calling card. No way that they didn't get out of that alive. Zorona with 19 HP. I'm telling you guys, this pistol round. Everyone out there, this pistol round is. They're pistol rounds. They shouldn't be nowhere near this intense. They should be pretty cut and dry for the way that they go. Man, sometimes they take my breath away. And I need breath. I'm the only one here. All right, Fisher Falcons. And what I think is actually their first pistol round of the entire series. Split attack was just what they were looking for. Fisher Navy just gives the sights over to the Falcons. They're already claiming it, already going to actually plant the spike down itself. He needs to be ready for it. Looking up the zip line instead where Nanners was down on the ground below. Doesn't really matter at that point. Finally though, the spike is gonna be planted. A little bit of time to get there, but eventually it did get there. 
may not be good enough. But it should be more than fine. I mean, Tim is skirting by, has enough HP maybe to deal some damage before finally being brought to heal. At the very least, you know where they are. Nah, Blast is going to do that perfectly themselves. What a flashbang! can tell if they flash themselves, but now you got poor Vix, who's still getting some kills. Fisher Falcons claim the second round, the second buy round. No. Bonus round for them. First time that we get to say that this evening. Fisher delivering a one-two punch so far against Fisher. Fisher got bigger weapons. Rifles. Ooh, fire through the smoke. Verona's still gonna walk on in. You know has to recognize that someone is hiding out on top of that box. The Astra smoke is going to be good enough to push away Fisher Falcons into regrouping with each other over on A. They're going to rotate onto their spawn. Now Navy is going to start beginning to do some of that same thing. Nick's so oh. going to go for the bites. Double kill. Down a. Just like that. Heads ripped off of shoulders. Vulnerable by the snake bite. That's going to be good enough for Nanners to grab the spike itself that was dropped in front of them. You just lost two players. Again, Fisher Navy, two of its players are heavily damaged. Not much in the way of HP. Vix going to regrowth themselves, paint. The shots didn't quite connect with the head fast enough onto Yanel to stop Blast from getting an elimination on them. Blast is going to pick up the Bulldog. Korik still has 5 HP. Can't benefit off of their own regrowth. Neptune right behind them. But Korik doesn't care if they have 5 HP. They have 5 HP, a dream. But most importantly, they have a Phantom. Neptune comes up from the shadows itself on a raise, no less. Stopping the bonus round for Fisher Falcons. Giving Fisher Navy the first round of theirs in split. Fisher has managed to strike back against Fisher in an electric third round. Swarmed all over them and it started off all by Vix. The poison orbs, a chance to maybe make their stand in mailbox, but the stand wasn't for long before being told to sit down by Zorona. But this doesn't give up that heaven control, not in the slightest. They're going to try their fortunes on B main. We also didn't talk about this very much in Agent Select. But neither one of these sides are working with a Sentinel. Instead it's double initiators for Falcons. Double Duelist. Navy. Paints all over the place. Planes looking in one direction right over to the other behind them. And they're all gone. Anyone who entered onto B from Fisher have been eliminated by Fisher. Nanner's still in the back line. Seen by Clork. Whatever they were hoping to accomplish there has been denied. But there's still an opportunity for Blast to plant the spike. For something to be seconds. regained. Nanners really wants to take this initiative. And that may just have given the Falcons the edge that they need over Navy. Toxins going up. Nanners cannot let this flank happen. Nanners could not let Paint get the headshot, but Paint doesn't care about what the Falcons need. All Navy cares about is closing out this series. Blast found out. Claims the life of Paint. Cloric has the trade. Cloric has the defuse. Fisher Navy has a tide. Map two to two.
Here we have it. Oh, through the smoke! Paint walks out of it and sends Nanners all the way back to Ascent. Zerona in through Vince. Gets rid of the Viper. So now both sides don't have a Viper. Atuzi sees this as an opportunity to full speed ahead, run down Tim. Zerona has the showstopper. Fires it into Garage. And now it's all over the place. The Falcons are actually on the side itself, but the spike is being planted. Paint has eyes up in heaven. No smokes to deny them. They're going to go down onto the ground below with their knives. Gets one. Zerona by themselves. Wait a minute. The ace is at our doorstep. But Zerona only has 45 HP. And this, this is the demon Diablo themselves. Zerona has done it. They've beaten the beast. They've aced Fisher Navy. And Zerona clutches it through sheer willpower. Our first ace of the entire series. By the Falcons, no less. So now we're all over the place. The best opportunity that the Fisher Falcons have had in quite some time. They are not going to want to let this go. Nanners. Oh, Nanners. They're still going for more. They got the first, they got the seconds. This player still feels hungry. Vix wasn't ready for what just came up right behind them. Fish and Navy. A puzzle piece is not being put together in any way. Fish your Falcons giving us a flawless round. In the lead, four to two. This team's so much more confident on split. They're kind of exuding this swagger right now. Straight up, just put the Viper's net. All right, Paint, you know what? You just spray and pray. They went inside of the Viper's pit. That's, a, that's always a bold strategy. But then you get a headshot off of the back of that. And now two players are gonna go into B. Let's see what they can get away with. Maybe something over here. Tim's gonna go for the TP. Ah, uh, but cleared a little bit too quickly and wasn't ready for 2Z. Aftershock is going to push them out further. Neptune's flying right on in with a showstopper. You know, grabs another right through the wall, a headshot on Natuzzi. But Clorik's seen them. Clorik's caught them out. Oh, it's just Clorik's playing with their food. Are you kidding me? They knew that, you know, could see the barrel. They knew that. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Fisher Falcons may have lost that round. Fisher Navy needed to use the Viper's Pit to make that happen. Fisher Falcons has massive ultimates in their own bank that they can use here to give them the upper hand. So now they need to meet that, you know, Zerona. Hit with a flashbang. Couldn't see up from down. What a player to still be alive throughout all of this. But this this player is so unfortunate in so many different circumstances that they're just taking so much ping damage. And then they try to jump through the smoke. And who else other than paint? I had to stop that. So now we get the aftershock. Now we get the Viper's Pit. And we've also gotten the Seekers used by Fisher Falcons. 
everything dumped in this round to try and find a victory. Blast was concussed out of their noggin. Big, no way should they have been able to find victory there. And then tanking the, the snake bite on the ground. You know, knowing someone was on the other side of that smoke is going to fire through it, get the kill there. Nanners getting out of their own pit. Playing it carefully. Someone tries to go for the defuse. And you just start firing a full blast. Fisher Falcons threw everything in the kitchen sink in that round against Fisher Navy. A pretty good thing they did. Otherwise, that would have gone... There. Horrifically. But I want to highlight Blast there. Concussed. Stunned. There. But held and put a line in the sand. Oh my gosh, Paint! They got to get out of there because now they've been hit with a two. And just enough damage was done onto Paint that the Show Stomper blows them right up. Pits could walk through this. They gotta be ready for someone on the other side of this. Again, that range is working against them. Yanel sees someone wanting to go for a weapon upgrade and sees this as the perfect time to not grab one. No, 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 no. This player needs two at the very least. Fisher Falcons, I don't know if they needed a two map warm up series, but this two map warm up series is feeling two maps warming up right all right we get there whatever it's a five map best of five series whatever the important thing is that they're getting there and that they are sending shockwaves through fisher navy here It's on the high ground blast. Spike Surviving down. a lot longer than they should have. And the Ray's utility coming in clutch. Nanners on the back foot to try and get out of there. But the spike is at the feet of the Falcons' nemesis, their competitors. Paint's going to go over onto the other side. Still had the Tailwind available to them. Boombot going to get destroyed. You're now bringing their compatriot back up to full HP. Wishing that they could do the same for themselves. Find it out here. Quick jiggle peek. You now still stuck Last on the generator box. Immaculate execution, but Black Pain has to realize that they have a flashbang, right? They have to realize that. They do. No way you're gonna do this to the classic. No way you did that to them with a classic plane. In no dimension, in no timeline, should they have clutched that out in the way that they did. But they did. All right, Fisher Navy. Narrowing this first half. He's gonna go down below. Needs to get as much usage out of this operator as they can. Sorona wanting to go into ramps. The Seekers gonna be broken. Make sure that operator isn't gonna be disturbed. Gonna get there onto the site quick. Boric can't go over onto the snake bite. It's the battle in heaven. Spray control, perfection personified. Nana's alone. Kills one, but you ain't stopping pain. You didn't, couldn't, Falcons couldn't do it last round. They ain't doing it this round. Final round of the half. Fisher Navy looking to make this a 6-6 first half. Falcons, desperate to capture some of that magic that they had. You don't want to give the you don't want to give Navy any more rounds than they need. This is classic right here. This is classic. They're gonna go peek for it. Tuzi's gonna back off. Break the boom bonds. 
Santa smoke up into mail room. That's gonna cover their approach through there. Make them think they're coming in this direction. Paint's not on paint. Paint didn't get blinded. And they go for the re-peak. He's gonna do it again. Tim. Tim has way more nerves of steel than I do. Where's the decision? It's at... They're gonna go to A. They're gonna be at screens of all places. This is actually pretty clear for them. Fisher Navy took a little bit of that bait, over-rotated. They've given up the site. They're more than okay with that. They have numbers on their side. And Neptune's gonna... See if anyone crazy enough. They know that Tim TP'd back here. And so they're going to see if Tim is going to be crazy enough to try and push forward. But Tim is exercising the greatest of caution to not get caught on the back foot. They're down in numbers. The dog. I see Tim on the other side. Little shot from Neptune. Nah, they knew someone was there. Intuition. But they're blinded by their own teammate. Couldn't see a dang thing. Ah, uh, Yanel's going to grab the double. Neptune's gonna fire back with a massive rocket. The defuse is happening. The Henderson's gotta push forward. They're gonna go for it. And they had to do it. They had to fight through Vix in heaven to actually make that happen. It was planted for them. Switching <laughs> but Vix wasn't planted for them. They were planted down on the ground. This is a 6 6 first half. And Fisher Navy's final map to close out the grand finals. They are two in zero as a reminder. Fisher Navy has had a crazy series to get here. Crazy run. Oh, whew, these pistols are always so scary. Neptune saw the entire Falcons team and is going to back away. That may give them enough of an idea for the other half of Navy to realize that pretty much no one is here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How are we going to intersect like this? How are we going to intersect like this? And gets rid of Tim. Quick one there. Cloudburst may have saved their life. No way! Are they going to jump into the snake bite? And Chloric is going to keep Paint alive. That vent just turned into a burial ground. Rename it to something else. <laughs> the base is going to stay in there. That's their home. They feel safe in there. Neptune's frenzy. Putting in the work. Putting in the time. Blast caught, caught, all of that and more. Ooh. Clean headshot. But Payne's got the back and forth on you, Blast. But not only that, Fisher Navy has the lead. For the first time in split. Four rounds in a row now for this team. Fisher Falcons. I'm sure not very happy after what's just been happening here to them. Fisher Navy. Having not only met them in the numbers, but now tying up? Rather, taking the lead. Apologies, I've been so much in shambles. And how Fisher Navy has recovered the map of Split. Neptune at lightning speeds. You think they're neon? No, just rays. Pain is hungry. Pain is furious that this map has been going on this long. They want to close out the grand finals decisively. When you go inside of those smokes, you can have nothing less than decisiveness. And what's even crazier to me is that Navy are all holding back 
And it feels like just all across the map, all of the players are getting the picks they need. And it goes. Paint gets the final kill. Fisher Navy. Eight Maybe rounds done and dusted. Take one step past this place. I always look at paint and how they do. Because I know the capabilities of paint as a duelist. I've seen it all across tier two. This player has 17 kills. A, once again, another stat line that shouldn't still fear into you. It, it, it should. Jump peek, Zerona hearing, push them back. Out goes the boom bot. One sneaks by Zerona, but how much more than that can there be? Neptune kills Yanel, rewarded with a phantom. And you still have, by the way, poor Tuzi stuck in mid in that corner. It could be playing a flank and a lurk of a lifetime, but what a flank that's gonna be. Neptune's phantom. That weapon upgrade getting massive value for this player. Cloudburst is going to be good enough to scare away. Blast. Nanners deny vision. Astro Star is just good enough. Paint. Really, dude? You're just going to go into there. We're back on there. Neptune gets their third. And you just fire through it. Make that a fourth for Neptune. Fisher Navy. Nine to six. Fisher Navy. Bonus round, Fisher Navy Gods. Paint. Ready to go for the fight. Tim has speed on their sides with that stinger. All of the util being done. <laughs> Tim was so eager. They wanted to go shopping. But they did not have the fun to pay the price that they wanted to grab. It's one for one. Yanel seen inside the stank of sewers. Ooh, pull it away. Push it back, you know. They're going off. Eh, hey, yeah, I, I, I do the same exact thing. You got to be hearing the shots that are ringing out behind you. Put a little bit more space between you and the danger, you know. Correct call. Maybe leave sewer too at some point. Fisher Navy has players all around them, but they're not really worried. And left. you're not going to be any more worried. Neptune is going to clear out all of the space using their showstopper. It's going to force them back and give them heaven control. They're dropping down to the ground. Blast Spike in that corner, feet. tucked in there, Last gives them a double game. kill. That double kill is not going to change One anything. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. You know. Clutching it. With the best flashbang that I think they could have ever done in their entire life. And not only that, having done it with a stinger of all things. There. Up comes the smokes, out through mid, Fisher Navy's attack, a little rocky, but definitely finding more fortune than whatever happened to them on their own defense of split. They're still two rounds ahead of Fisher Falcons. That was kind of a hero play from Yanel. You can't really rely on those too much often. Ooh, Neptune. So close to being able to grab those picks, but they're blinded. 
Nanners right there. They really wanted to get it. They eventually do. Cork has the trade on it. Tim, jump peek, spawns out paint. Back up to ramps here from this jet. Seeing where anything, seeing who might be up here. Here's your Navy's gonna use the Seekers. Is that someone's on the back of sight? Blast is kind of getting away with this. They're gonna be able to back away and back off. It looks like we might have some sort of weird rotation. Tim is still on the site, by the way. And again, it's another one for one. Where the battleground is this heaven attack. Zerona heard the zipline go up. Tim tries to get out of there. And now it's all left for naught. Spike planted. Fisher Falcons have to hope that someone's able to don the cape once more. A phenomenal start to it. One enemy Numbers remaining. even back out until paint. Paint unevens it and then shuts it down. Any possibility for the Falcons to get that there with a 4K. 21 kills for paint. Neptune not far behind at 16. These duelists are working hard, working strong. Tim skirting by. Playing close. Got to. Got that Bucky. <laughs> Falcons have. Oh, they don't have very many weapons that they can work with. Toozy's left on the other end to see if they can win out in a duel against Zorona. And it's going to be more than easy enough for them here. Dog is up in the air. It's going to get destroyed. No one is walking into Tim's Bucky, which I feel so sad about. Meanwhile, Toozy is waging a one man war on B. That has to have pretty much cleared it out, but really at this point for Navy, it does not matter. The final two players are on site. Yanel has a Sheriff with two bullets and 38 HP. Final bullet of that Sheriff is going to claim Cloric's life. Neptune, again though, is always there to bail out their team. Just the right moments. Nanners, Nanners is alive. Nanners has a hope and a dream. More importantly, has a judge. In a 1v4. They're looking all over the place, making sure. You gotta make sure. You don't want to get uh, poked in the back by Navy. Happened quite a lot in this matchup, I will admit. Falcons. Not soaring so high right now. Nanners is gonna... Nanner's gonna save the judge. Nanner, Nanner, there we go. There's the swing I was looking for. Whip out the classic and try to go to town on Vix. Unfortunately, you're on the wrong side of the tracks, my friends. Fisher Navy. 11th round. Time out once more. Third of the series. First of split. An interesting one to say the least, though, with Fisher Navy being only two rounds from victory. I would have thought that. At that point, the Falcons may have called a timeout during the tie. Yeah, we'll see if they can. We'll see if they can cook up something delicious. Uh, it's gonna have to be nothing less than a five-star meal, by the way, everyone. Uh, putting that out there, putting that energy forth. Timeout done. 
Falcons have to find their wings, have to soar. Neptunes blinded, pulling away. Boombot for a boombot. We got the rumble bots in mid. They both blow up though. Ain't, ain't nothing happened with that. Low turnout. It's okay though. Cautious walk into mid. Oh, Zorona. Peeks out for one. Peeks out for another. Zorona. I was so impressed with that double kill. Less impressed with the paint shells. Nanners. Has to be ready if they want to peek out from there. This is not the time to be overzealous. This is not the time to start going crazy. This is definitely not the time to do anything crazy. But it's going to be crazy from Zorona. Second ace of the evening. The second ace from Fisher Falcons. Whatever timeout they took, I think Zorona just like... I think Zorona ate some Wheaties, chat. <laughs> uh, what? Someone tell me what happened to that timeout. Please, someone tell me what Zorona did in their timeout. <laughs> that they just aced. Get out of my way. I gotta sing, I gotta do that again though. Zorona did it once. Zorona, do it again, please. Pull him back. Pull him away. Calm. A pers a, a, an actual walk of their name. And it's going to put it up there, blinded by the... Sky Flash zooming in at the speed of sound and the speed of ready to win this. Pain's aim going all over the place. <laughs> Yanel is going to hurt for it, but Yanel is most importantly not dead. They've gotten rid of that annoyance, that nuisance, and Zorona does it again. This mid push from the Falcons is just not working out. Ooh, Yanel's gonna get the Zorona beast back in fighting shape. 30 seconds left. The Falcons are gonna play away from the site. They're gonna play for retakes. Yanel is a walking one shot. Welcome to 15 my seconds. World. Viper's Pit used. Going to deny vision on screens. Grenade. Neptune. I'm trying to slow the push with the pain shells. By as much time as possible. Here's the kicker for Fisher Falcons. I have the Rolling it. Thunder. Now we're going to see... Cosmic Divide being used. Ooh, and it's going to be right on top of that Viper's Pit. Vix getting a kill through the Rolling Thunder concussion is insane to me. But here's the big kicker, though. The rest of Fisher weren't inside of there. So Fisher just got to do this. Well, that's going to head to go for the defuse. Ooh, Neptune makes the perfect swing. But no one's going to stop it. The defuse is going to go through. They pull it out. Neptune still gets the final kill, but they don't get the defuse stopping. Plus stuck it perfectly. There was no other choice than to stick it there. The executive decision that was made and the correct decision. For Fisher Falcons. But my goodness gracious, were they cutting it close? Alright, 11 to 9. Fisher Falcons, after their timeout, slowly, slowly, but surely. Inching their way further, piece by piece. It's getting there. We may be looking at map number four. Maybe. They've still got two more rounds to make that happen. Now they gotta go for the spike defuse. Oh, but they got another 
kinda know they can't let paint do what they do best and they don't. Serona now has the showstopper, but they didn't see Neptune so close, literally in their face. Gonna back away. A uh, smidge of damage, I think, from Tim across the other side. Yanel is holding down the elbow as best they can. Nanus is gonna go for another defuse. And for Fisher Navy, playing offside is just not working for them. One more round to go, and it will be 11 to 11. Fisher Falcons, so close. Right there. Almost. And for the first time in this entire series, this is not the first time out we've gotten from Fisher, but this is the first time out we're getting from Fisher Navy. This timeout is starting to go crazy here. So now we've had two timeouts. Uh, I, I mean, the Fisher Falcon timeout. I, I don't know what happened there. So I guess Navy is going to try and do the same thing as the Falcons in their timeout and have some Wheaties. Maybe they turned on their monitors. I don't know. Plugged in the keyboard. There. Using, uh, turned on the RGB for their gamer chair? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Ah, unfortunately for Zorona, a little too over eager in their fight. Thought they were going to catch out Neptune. Matuzi is the defender once more for this team. See it down below, Blast! And again, these, these pigs, these uh, fights, these timeouts are doing something. I gotta have. I gotta get the secret recipe for these timeouts. Whatever that happened there, it's working out massively for them. Oh, Neptune was gonna go down on the ground. Neptune falls. Vix is going to as well. Tim's 3K is putting in the work and putting in the mileage. Now it's time to step into the shadows of your sight. Yeah, I do have heard that. They're not gonna, gonna do this. Pretty sure Navy is going back and forth and how they wanna attack this. Oh yeah, Nanners has the footsteps. You gotta be ready for this. Nanners rips off Tuzi's head. Clorik is gonna plant the spike. Now the team needs to play together. Clorik's done it once before, and Clorik is more than ready to do it again. All it takes is two clean headshots. Really, just one bullet onto Tim. Tim needs to be the spearhead for this. He's the zip line to protect him going down. Clorik's right there! Nanners misses the shots! They go in for the repeak. They go in for blood. And Fisher Falcons go in to tie up the series. Tie up the map. 11 to 11. What a comeback for this team. Put this into perspective. After their timeout, they have now won four rounds. In a row. Four. Fisher Navy is still going to be able to buy up here, but... It won't last for too much longer here. Toxins going up. expended is going to hurt big time. Dog is going to be slowed down a little bit. They know that Blast is hiding up there. Quick fault line. Zorona pumps their little noggin out to punch paint in their little noggin. Now we're looking all over the map. Any possibilities? Here for Fisher Navy. Smoke number one is up. 
attack is just not happening here for this team. Neptune is struggling. Gonna reconvene with the team through sewers on this A main approach. The other side. Yanel. Packed on screen, 70 HP. Think if anyone's in heaven, the flashbang says no. But you don't want to be too careful. You cannot give up any more ground. I've which you've already done. Found one. Seekers used. Last is going to be pinged in Vince. He's waiting for them to come up. Oh, the Guardian. Firing all cylinders, and now the rumble and the Vince happens again. Spike is planted, though. Gotta remember the last few times that Fisher Navy has played off site. It's been kind of bad for them because it's in a, in a defuse both times. Fisher Navy still, for the most part, pretty alive. We'll let that happen again. Down comes the paint shells. We still have Neptune hiding out inside of the Astra Smoke. Going away here pretty quickly, but they're waiting for it to dispense. One enemy remaining. Let's pick for a pick. Falcons are flying high. Regaining the lead once more. And on top of that, match point. Match point. Falcons got to close out this round. <laughs> there is no need for an overtime for this team. But for Navy, that's all the best they can hope for. Is it going to be an overtime? Oh, Neptune slowed themselves just in the nick of time. But they're not going to get blown away by the paranoia. We're Tim on the other side of that. Neptune's going to jump through the smoke, and this is surgical. This is precise. This is Fisher Falcons. Coming back. Fighting back. Punching back. Map number three is theirs. And I do want to note, for the first time in the entire run-through of the playoffs, taking a map off of Fisher Navy.
It is a momentous day if you are Fisher Falcons. Regardless of whatever happens on our next map of Breeze, they have managed to stand up to Fisher Navy and take a map off of them for the first time since the playoffs have started. Not even Winthrop University, the team that has ascended to challengers, was able to do that. Now... The Falcons have given themselves a shot. Whether or not that shot is going to be stopped, still yet to be determined. But there is a chance, there is a hope, and there is a dream. But it is still Fisher Navy on series point. And taking a look at the stats coming out of map three, an average of all of them across the board. I mean, uh, it's kind of nuts. Uh, just in what these players have been able to accomplish and how they've been able to accomplish them. I mean, paint. Cork has 50, has, has dropped 50 across three maps. Average is it, kind of insane. But Tim and Yanel are doing in some work for themselves. Zerona was kind of the champion coming out of split for the Falcons. 46 average for them. But now we go into Breeze. Right here. Completely different story, a completely different setup. We're seeing the return of Reyna. Right here. Right here. But uh I can I can respect Reyna. I can respect the idea of seeing her on Breeze. Nanners is gonna have a lot on their shoulders if they want to get the utility right out of Reyna that she demands, that she needs. Fisher Falcons on the attack, Fisher Navy on the defense. Map number four begins now. Strong push through mid. I mean, once again, the Fisher Falcons MO when it comes to their pistol rounds is quick, quick, quick. Overwhelm them with force. But it's kind of, once again, these back and forth that we're seeing here. Nanners gets to use the Devourer. Get their health back up to full. Themselves up into hall. Poison's off. Wait a minute here. Vix could have had the drop on them, and they may still be able to do that here. The camera has been taken out. Spike is going to be planted. The Phil Fisher Falcons are just going to play for time at this point. Wall is going to come up. Also surprising that the wall had never been used by Tim up until this point to play for the post plant. And it's done in such a way that they'll still be able to see the spike. It's become so much more difficult for anyone to actually walk in there. Nanus has been seen. Loses the fight in mid. Tim is going to have to equalize things, and they do. May be able to make it happen once more. Quick jiggle peeks back and forth. Before finally finding the aim that they need. Snake bite on the ground to delay time as much as possible. Or it needs to swing all over the place. At this point, you're really just looking for the exit frags. Try and get as much money on the board as you can. It's not going to happen. The double swing. Tim 4K. This is round number one. Act on my Going to the Falcons. Don't give them time to Fisher Falcons have dealt the first of what they're hoping is going to be many more blows. Pain, you are always insane. And in these kind of situations, you have to be. It's your buy round, or it's rather, it's Falcons buy round. You're saving, you're just trying to gain some money. Cork peeking out through stairs, retreating to box, slowed down by the Tim Snake bite. Flashback. 
Neptune's just gonna toss the flashbang and see what they can get away with that. Tim. Yeah, just drops their weapons down, shoot, and then eventually follows through with it. Fisher Falcons are looking in command of Breeze. And honestly, can you blame them? This is feeling perfect in how they're playing this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Glory tries to set up for the shock dart. Well, Blast is set up with a brilliant share of shots. They may even be able to get some more. through Just through Hulk. 12 HP for Neptune. Says, you're not going to kill me. I can do it myself. Jumps wind. into the spike. 2-0 now. It's getting closer and closer, Chad. It's getting scarier and scarier here for these teams. Especially if you're Fisher Navy, where you had been in the lead for so long. On split, too. What a heroic comeback for Fisher Falcons. Navy has only one goal and one objective. No bonus round. None. This cannot happen. This cannot be given up. One trip gone. Two players out of the field. Zorona confidence in its purest form. That confidence is not going to be good enough to stop Fisher Navy when you give them the guns that they've been looking for. Right here. I want to stress as well for anyone watching that Fisher Navy is on the defense. Fisher Falcons are on the attack. Ooh, pull it away. Give it a second to breathe here. Neptune's waiting diligently for anyone crazy enough to peek in through double doors on mid. Now we got to have an eye on archways. Ness is making a lot of noise. This may be Payne's best opportunity. Oh, okay, a lot of bullets being fired. Get away. You gotta get through Cypher Utility. See where the trip is up to. Up comes the first poison orb. Zorona, so crazy, all over the place. They may have oh broken the trip, but now you've broken Zorona and Nanner's back. All it took was, once again, one Gloric. And Vic still has all of this back sight to themselves. They may have been found out, but they're still here. And they're still that nuisance that's going to cause that chaos. Kind of deny the spike being planted, you know? Packs one up just remaining. in the nick of time. But they are now Spike's alone planted. in a 1v2. Wait a minute, Vix. You're not going to do them dirty like that. You're not going to walk up on them like that. And had Tuzi fallen, Vix was going to make sure that the deed was going to get done. Get to the half. Let Tuzi have the ultimate point. That Viper's Pit on Breeze can absolutely swing the round back to whichever team is languishing. Okay. This series has only heated up Breeze has turned from a tropical vacation into a volcanic mess. This is 2-2, and it's only round number five. forward does paint like to push the envelope they saw the yeah they saw the hands and then you just relay that over to neptune hey they're here zorona oh yeah make sure no one's hiding out and shoot zorona literally 
finding safety on the edge right there. Paint recovers and survives. They were getting shot in the back by Tim. One enemy remaining. Tuzi! Swing forward. Tuzi's got the flick for days. They're not letting Zorona enjoy their vacation on Breeze. Fisher Navy. Furious. After map number three of Split. I don't blame them. I don't think anyone in here can blame them. They were in the lead. They were so close to victory. Denied at the final moments after a decisive timeout from Fisher Falcons. And even with a timeout of their own, could not replicate whatever happened from the Fisher Falcons that they did, which I'm convinced they turned on their monitors. Let's be real here for a second. Spread out all across the map, defaulting, playing for picks. Zorona is giving us an attack operator. You heard that right, everyone. An attack operator. But Tim doesn't need no stinking operator. They just need a vandal, aim, and the heart to win it. We're still spread out all over the map. Fisher Falcons cannot let this run away from them. Off. Tim is still so close, but I don't think they know that Neptune is basically a shoot. Neptune could swing out here, or Neptune could just continue to hold. Neptune is so patient. Someone has to realize this. If Neptune can get the timing right, they hear it. No one knows that Neptune is there. They jump down, catching themselves. Oh, they could get someone. Tim, eliminated by the Hunter's Fury. And you still have Neptune in your back line. You still have Neptune right there. And Neptune is eating them all alive. Flashbang. Walk in like you own the place. Because you do, Neptune. Fisher Navy. Creative ideas. To difficult problems. And, uh, they're, they're, they're just going to push through mid this time. All of them. Outdrone's going to see all of them. Yeah, get out of there. Pull away. Chlorix got the information they need. And they're not going to take any chances. Tor's going to open. Poison Orb's going to go up. Neptune gives us a KO Molly. Follow it up with a flashy. Oh, now you just... You're just mowing them down. Oh, no, the shorty. Spike down A. Hits a little bit differently. Tim just got a free haircut from that operator. And then stabbed in the back by Vix. Five to two, Fisher Navy. Stringing them along. Crazy rounds here. Fisher Navy. This is the kind of confidence that we'd missed from them. Doozy's an drone on them. It has to get out of there. You cannot fall. The Viper is such a linchpin of success. Here's the difference, though. If Fisher Falcons can get on site and plant the spike, they can use the Viper's pit. But the same to be said for Toozy. Are they going to have anywhere to run? Zorona's not. Zorona is caught out by the flashbang once more. Whatever you say about Neptune, they have transitioned cleanly from the duelist to the initiator role. And these flashbangs are unreal. 
It's a 1v1, though. Oh. It's paint versus Yanel. Yanel is hobbling at this point. All paint needs is one clean kunai. To the body. To the body. Oh, and it was just wrapped up nice and neat for them. Couldn't have been any easier for paint. Defuse the spike. Secure the first half for Fisher Navy. And they can keep the ball rolling. By no means is this half done in any way, shape, or form. But you're six and two. Possible. 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 Still. For an 11 2 half, Fisher Navy. I want to get that performance from what we saw out of Fisher Falcons again. It feels like they're so paralyzed with fear. And Neptune has these perfect reads again. The flashback. Oh, paint. How do you keep getting away with murder, my friend? The flashbangs from Neptune. They make me cry. But at the very least, at the very least for Fisher Falcons. They have the numbers advantage. They need to press it. But they can't press into Paint's operator. They cannot do that. He's not going to go in that direction. Seeing if anybody else is up at elbow. Hiding out on top of mid. Zorona's everywhere. Paint's not going to walk all the way up into their flank, are they? Paint absolutely is. Paint's going to suffer for their transgressions and trying to do that. Tim had the perfect read on it. The operator's gone. And now it's inch by inch in double doors. Looking completely left. different directions. One <sighs> enemy remaining. It's taking a page from the playbook. Tuzi pushed so far forward. Thinking that they still had to be in mid or at B or somewhere. Spike is planted. Clork's going to have to go through three of those players. And now Zerona has ahead. set themselves up on the high ground. Sees them right there. That's what I love out of the Fisher Falcons. They get punched hard. But they are not broken. And that's always the most important thing for this team. But again, you're standing up to the Goliath of Fisher Navy. And some rounds may not have gone their way. But again, there's still a long road for Fisher Falcons. Stay safe. Here it is, the Viper's pit that I've been talking about. But Tuzi is going to use to cut off the angles into A right off the rip. Hold him right there. And at the very least, for Fisher Navy, the Falcons can't go in there. I don't know if Neptune got seen by that Aldron. I don't think they did. A couple of bullets going to ring out from them. Nanner slips by Neptune in the middle of a reload. Heartbreaking. It really is as simple as that. Nanner's had to have heard the footsteps on bridge, right? That Cloric made. I think they did. I think they realized that Cloric is there, but you're going to find safety on the box of yellow. You need to suffer. Nanner's heard Cloric dropping down onto the ground. I'm going to drop them down onto the ground. We go back up there. Bridge right over there. Nanners wasn't quick enough on the draw. Paint flicks right back over. As he brings it up. Now we're, we're going to have a left. countering. That sonar dart was perfect. But what's even more perfect is Tuzi getting the kill on Tim, who brought up the Viper's Pit and then stands toe to toe with Yanel on the amount of health that they had. Zorona with an operator. And Vix trying to regroup through mid. Tuzi sneaks by thanks to the cloud burst. One enemy remains. Oh, that's about to happen. Needs to be quick. Oh my god, they dodge it! 
The bullet that rung out, heard through the centuries. Engraved with Toozy's name on it. Toozy dodges it like Matrix, like Neo from the Matrix. The timeout from the Fisher Falcons. Timeout is now ticked away. The rounds are really starting to tick away for Fisher Navy. This team may get unsettled. The ground may be quaking beneath no them. But somehow they don't fall over. I don't know how they do it either. It, it, in, in so many different moments of these series, of these games, it should all be over. Paint's gonna look over towards mid. They didn't hear any footsteps. Paint does a quick jiggle peek. Sorry, Nanners rather did a quick jiggle peek. <laughs> they did go a little far, so I'm surprised that they're alive. But you've identified where Paint is, and so Paint has to set up pretty quickly to get back over to B. But you also gotta go through B that has all of this cipher set up. The hunt begins. Susie's firing through, taking all kinds of names. I don't know how Tuzi did that. Blindest could be, I think it was a Cypher tripwire just at the right moment. And Tuzi has a quadra kill again. Tuzi is 14 and 4. 8 and 3 so far in this first half. Best of the Fisher Falcons can hope for. It's 8 and 4. Caution here. Right here. Crazy performance, honestly, out of Fisher Navy on Breeze. Feels like split. They didn't have the right timings. They have been over aggressive in certain instances. Breeze feels like a map that they have solved the puzzle to. Maybe some small puzzles going on here. Auric is gone, and so the pieces are starting to fall into place for Fisher Falcons. Uh, but those pieces have been ripped apart. Bless still walks through double doors and has gotten rid of paint. So that gives them a chance to use their ultimate, the Cypher ultimate. And they know that Neptune is still underneath bridge. Glass Cage is going to give them the cover that they need to grab the spike, the poison orb, the layer, being that extra safety net, especially in the exit strategy that they need to have. Spike is going to be planted. Up comes another one of these walls. Fisher Navy still has so much on their side. Get rid of the camera that's seen Tuzi in Nest. When you really play for the numbers. Ah, uh, kind of a rough flashbang from Neptune. A very uncommon one from them, but it does happen to the best of us. And also, just what happens to the best of us. Fisher Falcons showing that they are also some of the best of us. An 8 and 4 first half. And a series that may continue to map number 5. My goodness. I want to talk about some quick stats after three maps. Paint has 59 kills. Paint 
is a monster on the field. And that's not even including what they've accomplished on Breeze. Fisher Navy is showing up in these grand finals in jaw-dropping proportions. It's their own pistol round. Difference from what we see out of the Falcons is that they're all the way on A. Navy is all the way on B. And it's all blast poor by themselves hearing everyone attacking them. Wait a minute, Vix, Vix, is Vix gets a double kill! Vix with a triple! The lurking cypher has just I'm dealt the death way. blow in this pistol round to Fisher Falcons. Spike is planted. Two have segmented themselves off from the main group. One enemy remaining. Oh, and they're just, they're just putting this to bed. They're just, they, I, I, I have a feeling they're just ready to go to bed. Just kidding, it's still pretty early. We're not in gamer hours yet. It's your Navy. It's been a while since they've had a pistol round, not since the first half of Split. They found it here in the second half of Breeze. Pain is gonna give us a look at an outlaw. Brand new weapon, of course, to Valorant. One body shot does 140, so if all you got is light shields, you're gonna be blasted into oblivion. Basically a mini operator with two shots. When you go into these buy rounds, where you know the enemy is not gonna have anything more than light shields, you can walk away with quite literally murder. We haven't seen the outlaw used, if at all, I don't think in this entire series. Neptune sees if a flashbang may be possible here. Doesn't hear any footsteps shuffling around. <laughs> we got all four angles, four corners of B covered. Here's the problem, though. Is that you're leaving poor Tim by themselves. On A. Alone. Fisher's Navy is not giving any inkling, any idea of where they are. Paint destroys the camera. Still has that outlaw, by the way. Could play for lurk timing. Just gonna use the first flashbang. Now everyone gets to start rolling in. Oh, you're gonna have to be so careful, Zorona. Everyone coming through mid is gonna have to be so careful too, because Neptune's right there with a vandal of all things. In the second round, Blast wondering where the heck their team went. I don't blame you, honestly, there, buddy. A little shock dart to raise the hairs on end. And a little flawless round here for Fisher Navy. Giving them their 10th round one, the double digits now. Series win in sight for Fisher Navy. So close. Almost tantalizing. For Fisher Navy. Drooling at the seams. They may have to keep that in check. Neptune. Taking the fights in mid. Not able to grab anything out of that. Zorona. Getting rid of the camera. But Vix is actually behind them. And so... They may think they're in one direction. Right off the top of the head, giving Zorona a nice haircut. You know, it's gonna answer back in kind. Still a numbers advantage in favor? Oh, Fisher Falcons. Oh, and Tuzi. Assassinated by Blast. In comes the first one. Perfect tracking, perfect aim. But you just overwhelm them with sheer numbers and firepower. Fisher Falcons deny the bonus round here for Fisher Navy.
Ping it back. All around. Spike Throw down. again. Finding that initial first blood, but this time around it's been traded out. Now the pendulum exactly has shifted back I'm over to Fisher Navy. Down. We're also going to get the neural theft. They know where you are, Tammy. <laughs> I'm not play here for far too long, especially with paint. I mean, that operator. Oh, they're just gonna go right in for it. Maybe a little too over eager in their fight, and Tim staying this far forward is going to give Fisher Falcons the fighting chance that they need. But here's the other big issue they've given up B. No one is anchoring it. Because there's no anchor there, when we have Vic seeing that no one is on this site, they can go back around. The Kim is going to be able to pick up some smidge of that information, but they don't see them there yet. That's the most important thing is they don't see them there yet. Camera eliminated. There's still the tripwire, but no one is actually on the site itself. The rotation has begun. Oh, Vix had the drop on it. They didn't have the aim to go along for it. Hearing the footsteps as the rotation begins, Spike is going to be planted. Tuesday's going to go for one peak. And a second one, the high low is there. Kuzi wins out in one duel. Enough damage being done. Yanel is holding on. Just a little bit, but not enough. Lorik sends Yanel packing. And drags Fisher Navy into the 11th round one. Zorona has decided that it's time to be guided by wind itself. Paul's is at the very least covered by the cipher trip. Vix looking down with the cam, and they know I think they caught Zorona. Rotating over on his side, up in the air, there's the two Zorona was going for. All walking into sight, paint the world on their shoulders. Ready to equalize the numbers once more. Needs to pick up the spike. Needs to go even further and plant it. Vic shoots down the trip. Vic shoots down blast. Spike being planted, pinging it out a couple of times, seeing if anyone dares to walk forward into them. Oh, and they're gonna go for the flank there. And it's up on the high ground. And just like that, both at the same time. That kind of team coordination only coming through hours of practice, trust, and faith in each other. Match series point. Fisher Navy. Fisher Falcons. Not much left in the tank. Money ruined. Economy broken. Spirits may be even to go along with it. Their final chance. This is it for this team. There is no other opportunities. Get out of my way. Oh, and you've already yeah, seen your it. target. You know that Zorona is in tube. You know exactly where this oh, player well, is. And know. now Vix has complete and utter control. The Hunter's Fury rings forth and claims their first What's victim. The, the only victim. But enough that Fisher Navy decides that it's time to get out of here. Vix is still going to hold forward. Or it's been seen by the Owl Drone. Guess what? Vix still has this control. Vix. <sighs> Pain right there. Saul. Blast. Got the headshot on them. Zorona needs to get these trades. Every life is valuable. For Fisher Falcons. Every life has meaning. But meaning may lose it out because Vix completed their objective get halls get into bridge get rid of viper zorona is now out of here yanel alone a 1v3 picks up the guardian gets rid of chloric the road is paved with blood but they need to walk it you're getting called out by the camera get rid of that vix is on the stairway itself Spike ticking down 
time not only being pressured against them. Looks over towards there. You know, tries their best. But Fix and Fisher Navy have done it. 13 to 5, 3 to 1. Your College Valorant Winter East Grand Champions.